Alright guys, it is DevKing here back with a brand new video. And guys, in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you about Roblox ordered data stores. Now, I don't know why I said Roblox before that, but anyways, what are ordered data stores, you may be wondering? Well, let me explain. So basically oh, I can't say words. Basically, ordered data stores are data stores, but they're ordered. So what does that mean? Well, basically, it's like essentially a global data store. It's like a regular data store, but it's ordered. Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> that's it pretty much. And uh, it allows you to get sorted, like a sorted uh, version of it. And uh, it's used for like leaderboards and stuff like that. So yeah, people use it a lot for leaderboards. And um, we will not be making a leaderboard, like a physical one. We won't be doing that in this video because it would take a little while. But actually, after this video, I'm going to be making my GUI series. So get hyped for that. Um, after that, um, I will eventually be making a tutorial on how to make a leaderboard. So yeah, that'll be cool. Anyways, but for now, we're going to make it just like in a print. Um, and it'll display really nice down here in the output. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, write some code out. Okay, so first things first, we want to get our... Um, the data store service. Okay, so obviously we're gonna do local data store service is equal to game get service data store service, and we're gonna do local player level store. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna store imaginary levels. Okay, because normally you would like look into your like your leader stats, right, and then like um, get all the data out of there and then sort it. But honestly, there's really no point in doing that because yeah, there's really no point in doing that because, um, I cannot think. Because I don't have that data right now, so I'm going to make up my own. Okay, so yeah. I'm not going to be making or using like a data store or like a, a real one. And I'm not going to be using like out of the player list either because I don't have any actual data. So what I'm going to do is make up my own. So yeah, it, it'll still look nice, but you'll see. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do local player level store. So we're going to just write, um, we're going to call this the player level store because we're going to store the level of players and then the highest level will be the top of the leaderboard and the lowest level will be the bottom of the leaderboard, right? Makes sense? Okay, so we're going to do uh, local player level store is equal to data store service colon get ordered data store and then we're going to name it the same thing which is player level store. Okay, and now what we're going to do is actually put it in an ordered data store. So um, put the data in. Yeah, there you go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a table and we're gonna call it player info or player levels. That's good. And then we're gonna go ahead and do, um, we'll make a few We'll make a few names up, right? So, and then the levels. So we'll do um, Mark Gamer, <laughs> uh, Mark Gamer Zombie Hunter, uh, five, thir 30, yeah, there you go. That, that's his username, a little bit too long. But yeah, that's his username. So Mark Gamer Zombie Hunter one two nine three eight one two nine three eight. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna set it equal to um well his level or his imaginary level, and we'll make it up. We'll say level fifteen. Okay, and I'll put a comma and the same thing. Also, if you guys don't know how to make tables, definitely should go watch my beginner series. Or actually, I think that was in the advanced series, but I have a tutorial on that, so just um definitely watch that first. It's on the channel, so I would watch that because I'm not going to explain tables because it's kind of advanced. So yeah, but basically just we just have the key here and the value. All right, so yeah. All right, next we're going to make another one. We're going to call it Sally, Sally Wacky. There you go, that, that's her name. <laughs> and she'll be level um, 25 maybe. And then we'll do um, uh, Nancy Plays. There you go, perfect. <laughs> and then we're gonna make her level 37. All right, there we go. And then we'll put my name, I guess. Use code underscore tap. Also, I guess use code tap. Use code tap when buying Robux or premium in the Robux store, um, because it's good. And I get five percent of the Robux. Actually, I get five percent of the money. You keep all your Robux. I mean, so don't worry. So. Use code tap, yeah. All right, anyways, that's how I'm going to write this table out. And we can add one more person. Actually, I guess why not? We'll add one more person, and we'll make them level um, 67. And we're going to – actually, I feel like 68 is a better number. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then we're going to make their name um, uh, Awesome Minecraft YT. There you go. Perfect. These are real names, as you can obviously guess. 
and Dell. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to loop through this table and then store the data in our data store. So normally how you do it is you just do your data store. So you do player level store, and then you do colon um, set a sync, and then you put the data in there, which is first of all the key and the value. So you would do like um, the username and the level but we actually need um, we have a table full of data so we're not going to just put you know we're not going to just put that in that we're going to put um, oh my gosh you know that's what you normally would do if you wanted to enter it all manually but since we're good scripters we're not going to copy and paste the enter manually no 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 we're not going to do that we are going to make a for loop we're going to loop to the table so we're going to do for username level comma level in pairs um, actually, we, I don't know. You could do players for player level in pairs. Obviously, our table, so player levels do, and then we're gonna store it all. So we'll do level or no player level store colon set a sync, and then we're gonna do username or no player and level. There we go. And now what we're doing basically is we're getting our our data store, okay, and we're setting a sync. Um, each piece of data, right? We're looping through the first one, and then it's going to do. It's going to set the the key equal to the player name, and then it's going to set, set the um, the data equal to the level, which is, for example, this one, the first one, fifteen. All right, there we go. That's pretty good. Uh, we we stored all our data in the table, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do local pages uh, is equal to character. Oh, I keep doing character player level store get sorted async. Okay, now wait, okay, let me explain this first. Okay, so pages, what is pages? So we have local pages equal to player level store, get sorted async, and basically what this is saying is it's okay, get all our data, and then also sort it, okay? And then we're setting it equal to pages. Now what is pages? Pages is basically the value type um, of what we're gonna be storing. So there's actually a value type called pages, and basically it's a way to store data, and it's just like, it's so hard to explain. It's easier when I show you it, but all you need to understand that is like a book, okay? Um, just think of it like a book, and it has a certain amount of certain amount of lines per book, or certain amount of, certain amount of lines per page. So what we're gonna do is we need two parameters here, okay? Um, what we're gonna the first one is do we want it to go up or down, or do we want it to be ascending or descending? So if we want it to be ascending, you leave it as true, or if you want it to not be ascending, you okay, so it is ascending. So we don't want it to ascend, we want it to go from highest level to lowest level, because that's how leaderboard works, right? So we'll do false, okay? Because we want it to go from highest to lowest. All right, and then the amount of words or keys per page, okay? So we're gonna do just three for this one, okay? So it's gonna create two pages with three values on each page, right? So basically, think of like a book, that like each page has three lines, and it can have no more than that. So if it has more than if it has six lines, it's gonna be, need to make two pages. It has seven lines, it'll need to make three pages. Because when because when it goes over a multiple of three, it'll need to make another page. Right? That makes sense. Hopefully, if it doesn't, don't worry. I'm gonna print it all. It'll look pretty, and you'll be able to understand that. All right. Now we're gonna loop through our pages and actually print all the, out all the data. And um, so it looks like a leaderboard. Okay. So we're gonna do while wait do. And then we're gonna do local data is equal to pages get current page. So we're gonna get our page, obviously, right? And then we're going to go ahead and loop through our page, okay? And then we're going to make the data look nice. Now, it, in this instance, actually, no, 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 never mind, never mind. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is yeah, loop through our loop through our data and then um, print it all out. And yeah, all right, so what I'm doing right now is I did local data, it's equal to pages, get current page, so we're going to our page variable, or our page, yeah, variable, and then we're getting the current page we're on, okay? So we are currently on page one, and there's three things per page, right, three lines, um, so we're gonna do all of these, all of these are gonna be printed first, okay? And then we're gonna put like a, a divider, but all right, so we're gonna loop through this page, so we're gonna do four I through V, in pairs data do and then we're gonna go ahead and print out um v dot key okay so basically um what's the key um of the page which is gonna be the name okay 
And if this is confusing, don't worry, I understand, but remember, wait till, just just bear with me, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to put a little colon between it, we're going to concatenate a colon to make it look a little prettier, right? Um, and that'll be, actually, we'll put a little dash, that'll make it look nicer. And then we're going to do dot dot v dot value, okay? And there we go. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is that should print out the value of our key okay so the i is the page that's the, that's what the i is when you when you loop through the data it's it's the page that we're or actually i think it might be the like no 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 it's not the page it's the um it's like the in like the number so it's like the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one so but there's only three on a page so it'll be the one two three so yeah that's how that would work um but yeah, so you just you would do v dot key. Now, if you're wondering where v dot key comes from, well, that's just kind of how pages work. Um, and same thing with v dot value. It's you're getting like I said, like the the key, and then you're getting the value, and they're both sort of in the v because that's how pages work. So yeah. All right. So now it's going to print out that, and now we can run that. But we want to do one more thing. We want to do we want that's we only printed one page out, right? Because we did the get current page, and then it looped through, and then it printed out one page. Okay, um, which is only these three because we only put three lines per page. So we need to print out the second page. How do we do that? We'll do we'll do if pages dot is finished. Okay, so if we finish with that page, then we're gonna break out of the loop. Or if we finish with all the pages, sorry. If we finish with all the pages, then we're gonna break out of the loop. Okay, because right now we're in a while loop. Because let's assuming there's a lot of pages, it's gonna keep looping through all the pages until it's done. But if pages is finished, then break okay and then we're gonna do actually else um, so if it's not finished we're gonna do print and then we're gonna put a little divider here I'm gonna just I know it looks a little weird right now and we're gonna put a little divider there and then we're going to go to the next page all right so then we're gonna do pages advance to next page async all right and now what we just did was we went to the next page. So now we went to the next page and now it's gonna run the loop again and it's gonna go, okay, local data is equal to pages, get current page. So now it's running a new page and now it's gonna print out all the data on the second page, which is this one right here, all this data right here. All right, so now if we, well actually, okay, actually I might have confused you guys, but like this data, okay, wait, coincidentally it's in order. Let me change the levels up a little bit because right now they're actually in order. So let me just change those to make them not be in order. Uh, 23, oh, there you go, okay. Um, anyways, so yeah, what we're going to do is it's going to get all the data, sort it. Okay, it's going to get all the data. It's going to put it in our data store. It's going to sort the data, and then it's going to set it equal to pages. And then we're going to loop through our pages and then print out what we need to print out. All right, let's go and test it out and see if it works. And here we go. Okay, remember, this is all going to be in the output, so let's look here. And... Oh, I messed up. Okay, so <laughs> um, we need to make sure that you um, write... Or you need to make sure that... Um, Sorry, I can't think. You need to make sure that you um, publish your game first because data store is a, is a Roblox API and you need to actually have a game to save your data to. So publish your game real quick. Uh, I'm just going to publish it like that, blah, 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 and that'll be good. There we go. That's good. And then we need to go into game settings and then options and then enable that. And that's going to enable studio access to API services. So just game settings and options. And then hit save. And then there you go, that'll work. Okay, so now we hit run and it should print out really nice. I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And here we go. Okay, I'm excited to see it. It looks really nice. I know it does. And boom, look at that. Look at that data. All right, so what this is saying basically is we got, okay, so the highest to lowest. Okay, so we got me. Use code tap with 100, as we said it to, right? And then we got 61, which is the second highest. And then 58, and then we got 25, and then we got 23. But if you notice, there's a little like a little dash or like a line right here. And what this is saying, and this is saying basically, um, you know, that we're on a new page. It's just a little divider, right? And now if you wanted to, we could just set this to five, right? And if we hit run, it theoretically should print out all on the same page. And it did. Now, why are there, why are there pages? Maybe, or why is there, why is there, I'm trying to think. Why is there a number on the amount of pages you sh you? It, it's personal preference. I don't know, man. Like you could just do math huge if you wanted to, I guess. 
uh, right? Like I think, um, and then you would have everything on the same page, right? I mean, assuming, right? But maybe you wanted to do like a like a later board where you had ten on like the top row, right? Or on, on like ten visible, and you just scroll down and like press a button to go to the next page. That can make sense, right? Um, but yeah. Anyways, that's that's um that's order data storage. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, smash like button, okay? Hit sub button if you're not subscribed already. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. You're obviously not learning scripting that well, uh, as, as you could tell. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And GUI tutorials series coming soon. Um, okay, so also before I do that, okay, so I'm going to have a GUI tutorial series coming soon, right? But... Um, I still will make some advanced script tutorials here and there because I'm sure I'll, like, I'll need something to cover. But after the GUI series, tutorial series, I'm probably going to do like a simulator series, like make a simulator because like I want to make an actual good one. Like everyone made a simulator, right? Or like people made, a, like there's people that made simulators, but I want to make a good one that actually like is good and you can publish it if you wanted to and you can make money off of it. I don't care, right? But that's what I'm saying. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Peace.